Is my husband cheating on me? Definitely. Well, that's fucking concise. Okay. Um, do I know her? Never. So a stranger then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is this like a recent thing that's been going on? Yeah. Like how recent? Like a month? Like a week? A day? Like a one night stand? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, did he meet her at work? No. Did he meet her on a dating app? That fucking bastard. Okay. Have they already met up? This motherfucker thinks he's slick. Have they done the deed? This bitch here. Okay, um... It, should I kill him? Yes. Should I kill him? Yes. Should I kill him? Yes. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Let me tell you right now. She got home and was like, hey, did you see my new video? <laughs> it's so funny. Like, oh my God, you would never cheat on me. Like, like you would never. But, like, you should open your phone. Like, you should just, like, open your phone. It would be funny because, like, you would never cheat on me. But, like, you should, like, open your phone. Open your phone and show me your apps. <laughs> she came home. She had gaslit herself into believing I had Tinder and I was cheating on her. Okay? I'm telling you right now, I am used to cheating on my wife and her dreams. But this is the first time I've ever cheated on my wife in her imagination. <laughs>
husbands, wives, significant others, whoever. Stop offering solutions to problems your partner does not want fixed. Listen to them complain. Maybe offer to buy them a treat after. Thank you. I shit you not, the very next day after she made this video, her entire transmission just failed. Okay, just going down the road just stopped working. Okay, let me tell you right now, I'm serious, like this is me taking it apart. Okay, I mean, it's gone. And she called me and she said, Hey, oh my gosh, I have the transmission. It's doing something weird. The car is revving. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. And I was like, The car is revving. Oh my God. The tr you think it's a transmission? Holy crap. Oh my God. That sucks. Oh my God. Life sucks. Ha ha ha. And she was like, No, what do you mean? I was like, What? You didn't want to vent? You don't want to vent? You want to vent now? I thought it was just, just dead to me. It's fine. I don't need to solve problems, have solutions. I don't need to fix your car. Just vent to me. That's all that matters. Ladies, this is your public service announcement to marry the funny guy. Don't think about it. Don't ask questions. Go to the courthouse right now and let that man wipe you up. Because let me tell you, looks fade, hairlines recede, bank accounts shrink, and guts, they can grow. But a man with a sense of humor you can't put a price tag on that, okay? Listen, I married the funny guy, okay, almost eight years ago, and that man has kept me laughing, crying every day since then. And that sense of humor at times has been the only thing to keep me from going to prison. Has kept me out of jail because it keeps me sane, it keeps me grounded, and it reminds me not to take myself too seriously. Okay, listen, if that man makes you laugh and can make the most mundane, annoying tasks and days feel enjoyable and fun, marry him. Don't think about it. I promise you, you'll thank me later. Yeah, marry the funny guy. You know, my wife only had to overlook, apparently, the fact that I'm balding. I'm one ugly son of a bitch. I'm fat as hell. Poor. You know, just an overall bag of hot garbage. But I can make you giggle, and that's what matters. My husband spends a lot of time on the golf course. Likes to call himself a golfer. Absolutely loves it. But what Cody calls golf, I've affectionately started calling, and some of you may be familiar, uh, whack fuck. Whack? <laughs> okay, in my defense, if you can hit it over those trees about 330, 335, you're on the green for a chance for eagle at a par four, okay? Have I ever done that? No. Is it going to stop me from trying every single time I get to that hole? Absolutely not. And what she didn't tell you was the fact that I did an eagle on hole one, birdie, and then par par. I mean, she didn't tell you that because it didn't happen. But at some point, I could do that if I keep playing too much golf, you know. But what she did not have to do, okay, is expose me like that, okay. She knew I was going to try to swing hard. I've been telling her about it for three holes. I was like, I'm getting over those trees. I'm getting over them. So she, in my time of weakness, filmed me performing a horrible golf swing. I'm not that bad normally, okay. Normally I'm smooth and controlled. I just want to get an eagle, man. Just one time. She fucking exposed me. On today's episode of Why My Husband Is a Big Fat Dum Dum, I have a throwback story for you folks. Buckle up. Let me just start out and preface this by saying that my husband is one of the smartest people that I know. He also happens to be one of the dumbest. And with that comes him thinking that he still possesses some of the athletic ability that he used to have. Um, he does not. He does not. So a little over a year ago, my husband is out fishing with some buddies. They start to come back to the dock. They're done for the day. They're coming home. He comes to the dock and instead of waiting all the way until they get there, he decides, oh, I can make this shot. I'm just going to jump off. No big deal. What this man does not account for is the fact that he's pushing 260. Okay. We love him. We love my hefty man. I think he's so good, so handsome. However, it drops his momentum down when the boat pushes down, when he goes to jump off. And instead of jumping on top of the dock, um, goes and just slams his shin right up against it so obviously this hurts and he's complaining about it hurting he's limping for a little bit he's like oh shit that really hurt it, naturally he gets home fat ass goose egg i'm talking like softball size on the bottom of his shin where his like leg meets his ankle okay i'm like babe let's just ice it no big deal um and if it's not feeling any better a couple of days you should go to the doctor and he's like no 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 no. i'm fine i'm probably just being dramatic i probably just bruised the bone no big deal and we just let it heal eventually the bruise goes away and it's fine 
Fast forward a couple of months, uh, Cody is in Nashville, Tennessee, breaks his kneecap riding a scooter. If you want the story time on that, it's pinned in my profile. Go check it out. My husband's an absolute idiot. Um, when he goes to the doctor to get these scans for his knee to make sure, you know, to find out what's going on with it, um, the doctor looks at him and says, hey man, um, did you ever get treatment for this break on your leg down here at the bottom? And my husband's like, huh? He said, yeah, you have like a break. Cody's like, how long, how old is the breaks showing? He's like a couple months. Cody said, ah, aha. I know exactly what that is. Best one proceeds to tell the story uh, to this nice doctor man of how he jumped off the boat and hit his shin and didn't know it was broken. Um, walked on it. It healed on its own for months with no medical treatment. No medical treatment. This is the same man that gets a sniffle and is down for the count for four to six business days. Make it make sense to me. Sir, I'm gonna need to see some consistency from you, okay? At this point, I'm just grateful we have a decent life insurance policy, really and truthfully, because the man could have gangrene on his foot and be like, we're fine, we're gonna walk it off. I have to give it to him, that is one tough son of a bitch. <laughs> And so the slander continues. Now clearly a guy like me would not have a problem jumping from a boat to a dock. I'm an athletic specimen, okay? Now, I will let you guys know the true story. While I was reeling into 73 and a half pound largemouth bass, I've got it right up to the boat pulling out of the water six feet and one inches. I see a child out in the lake being chased by a shark. So obviously the first thing and only thing I can do is go save the kid. So I run over there, dive off the boat, into the water, swim to the kid, and me and this shark are going toe to toe, narrowly avoiding each other's deadly blows. And as the boat comes by to pick us up, I reach out, grab the front of the boat, sling us on. You think you're safe. The fight is over. That's where you'd be wrong. Okay, now me and the shark are now coming at each other, chicken style. I know what he's about to do. But I recently saw my master Chuck Norris execute the most perfect roundhouse kick on a shark last week in Australia. So I know I can do this. As the shark jumps out of the water, jaws open, I execute the most deadly roundhouse kick you've ever seen, perfectly placing the kick on the shark's gills, completely incapacitating, probably killing the shark. And she tries to tell me that that's not how I broke my ankle. That's how I broke my ankle, right then. Hit the shark just a little too hard, you know, cracked an ankle. Didn't even know it because I'm a badass. But clearly jumping from a, a boat to a dock, I mean, she could get more creative, couldn't she?